it would just be so much easier if they would just return phone calls and just explain to people. I mean, that's that's very professional. You know, honestly, we're in, we're in a volatile situation. Uh, we're trying to get out of. Only on KDKA, broken brackets, jabbing wires, and no way to relieve the pain. Now, one Washington County mother wants answers for her 19-year-old son. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Kim Gable. The young man already beat cancer, but now she says he's up against all about smiles. KDKA investigator Megan Schiller joins us with why the family reached out to KDKA for a solution. Closed sign on the door says it all. Someone scribbling underneath. This is bull expletive. How about notifying someone? Patient Zach Dyer feels the same. Pretty much every bump in the road you could hit, I pretty much fell over. He's 19, stuck in braces, and doing his own dental work. Yeah, I'd pull my cheek out so I could look at it in the mirror and then cut it, and then sometimes I could... Well, the one time it was stuck in my cheek. He's cutting his own wire because this all about smiles office closed, locking his dental records inside. No records means no other practice will touch his teeth and no one picks up the phone. We're having this interview because we've been trying for seven months, months now to get months. his medical records that are legally not even theirs. They're his. The journey to this point wasn't easy. Zach battled cancer most of his childhood, and it took a toll on his teeth. We had to do all kinds of research in the first place because and do with everything. certain chemos and radiation, you have to go into a hyperbaric chamber to get any dental work. As a mom, do you have sensitivity to the fact that he's already been through so much at such a young age, and then this is happening? You take an oath to do care to people, and regardless of what they go through, you should do that care. <laughs> I reached out to All About Smiles to find out what's going on. So I appreciate you for hopping on here. We got a hold of Sean Heckman, the company's chief operating officer, and wanted him to hear directly from Zach. So I'll pass you off to the patient, Zach, okay? okay. The location that I was going to, um, they just did not fulfill the tasks that they had to do, and I'm pretty much just suffering from it. I'd like to speak to you kind of, um, afterwards to, to see what happened, uh, what's going on, and, and uh, what we can do to, to make things right for you. Okay, cool. Heckman joined the company to save it from bankruptcy, recently securing a PPP loan to keep it afloat. You know, honestly, we're in, we're in a volatile situation. Uh, we're trying to get out of. And, you know, the owner could have very easily just walked away from this and said, hey, I'm done. And he didn't. He, you know, they stuck it out. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to be back on track here shortly. He wants all patients, including Zach, to know this. I mean, I know several patients have been out there in limbo. Uh, you know, my job is to get them the patient care that they need, um, and they, they should have been receiving the whole time. And we're out here at this Washington location. The sign says it's been closed since November 9th, 2020. Heckman tells me thanks to the PPP money, they hope to have all the offices, including this one, back open by the middle of the summer. In the meantime, if you are one of those patients that feel like you're stuck in limbo, Heckman wants to hear from you. We have his contact information, his email address posted at kdka.com. Reporting in Washington tonight, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.